All right, so for the midterm, we're going to make a brick wall. This is going to be relatively easy to do. To start off with, I'm going to make a project folder. You should already have a project folder for the class that you store things in. However, if you don't have that, then go ahead and make one here. So just come down into the file project window. I'm going to go to wall, bricks, whatever. Uh, it goes into my D drive. My model's OK. I accept that. I'm going to navigate and move this brick wall image here. Cut this here. And we'll go to D. And I have, um, I think it's in my general here, my model somewhere. And wall bricks, source images. Right click and paste that in there. Now, back in Maya here, I'm just going to bring in that image. So I'm going to go to my front view. I don't need to do this. Obviously, I know what a brick wall is. If you don't want to do this part, don't do this part. I'm bringing it in here so everybody kind of has an idea of what I'm working on while I'm working on it. And I'm not too worried about the um, uh, scale of things. I'm going to turn off my grid, and I'm going to make something similar to this here. It's not going to be as big as this here, right? So I'm going to make the bricks smaller. I know with my scene I made things smaller and also I want to have a bigger um, area to, that I can cover with this. So what I'm going to do to start with this is I'm going to create a plane. Remember to have your custom shelf set up. It's just going to make your job easier. And I'm going to have my plane here, my plane settings. I'm going to change the... Nope. I always get them wrong. That's okay though. I want to leave this one up here, the subdivision width to 15. And then um, that is uh, this way right here. So it's going to make it wider. As you can see, it's about the same size as the image plane, at least across. But it's smaller in the sense that there's more bricks on it. And it could be a little bit smaller this way here. Let's go 0 0.7. That looks more like a brick. I'm talking about grid here, too. Get tired looking at the grid. All right, so I'm going to go into my top view, and I'm going to go to face. Now, we have 15 bricks across here, 15 faces across here. That's all well and good. All right, here they are. Pretty cool. Okay, so what I want to do is extrude them. I'm going to click on This should be towards the middle of my screen here. This does not need to be in the middle of my screen. I didn't organize this shelf, obviously, because it needs to be changed. All right, so extrude. I'm going to change my offset. First, I want to, yeah, we'll change my offset. Let's go 0.1. OK, that's probably OK. I'm going to turn keep faces together off. And you see we get little individual bricks here, so to speak. Maybe change my offset to 0 0.08. And then click on the extrude again and bring that in offset 0 0.02. So we have a little bit of a control edge there around each brick so it'll be sharper and then um, with that I'm going to click on extrude again and I'm going to change my thickness now I'm going to go 0 0.02 and that raises those bricks up a little bit giving me a control edge and then I'm going to click on my extrude again and I'm going to change my thickness to I don't know 0 0.07 that's probably OK. Uh, let's go 0 0.06. 0 0.06. And then we'll add a little bit on top by clicking Extrude again. And we'll go with 0 0.01. Get a little control edge up there to help control those. Now, these bricks are not going to work if I press 3. Right, they round over pretty well. That's OK. We are not worried about getting that part at this point in time. Worried about getting the initial setup here of the bricks. Now, one last thing we want to do before we move on from the initial setup here is add edges down the middle of each brick. This will come in really handy for us. And we can see here that these bricks are lined up roughly like offset by 50% from one another. And that's what we're going to use this edge down the middle of each brick to do. So what I want to do is go to my insert edge tool. It's going to be underneath mesh tools if you don't have it on your shelf. And we'll go to multiple and type in a one right here. OK, well, there's a one. We're going to click here and just add an edge down the middle of each one of these bricks. And 
it all the way down. We got to get 15 of them. All right, there's all my 15 bricks. Cool. So I'm going to reset my tool. I will need to use this later on. I don't need to. Of course, I could use the multi-cut tool, but I prefer using the insert edge tool. All right, so we got our, our first row of bricks there. We're going to go to File, and we will save scene as. It's going to go into my bricks, my wall bricks folder. I'm going to call it my last name, first name, and then you can call it midterm or wall. It's up to you. And I will click Save As. All right, I'll see you in the next video.